Hello friends, welcome back to Graceful Living and welcome to all of you that are new here today. In today's video, I am doing something a little different. I am joining together with my good friend, Rachel Oaks from Oaks & Company here on YouTube. She asked me to collaborate with her this week and just kind of bring to you our favorite fall treats. So that is exactly what we're going to do. But before we start that, let me tell you a little bit about my good friend, Rachel. She is the sweetest and kindest lady. When I first started my channel a year ago, she reached out to me as a newcomer and was so kind and supportive. Now, I believe Rachel has had her sweet channel for a few years now, and she seems to do a little bit of everything from cleaning and decorating to organizing her lovely home and going on these awesome Goodwill trips with her husband while they find the most amazing items ever. So when she reached out to me about doing this little collaboration with her, I could not help but to say yes. So I hope you will jump on over to her channel once you are done here and let her know that I sent you. And please consider subscribing to her channel and helping her out just as you've done for me that you will come along with us today and gain some inspiration for your own fall treats. So let's go ahead and dive right in to today's video. Okay, for my very first recipe, I am going to prepare some seasoned pretzels. I shared something very similar to these last year, but they are worthy of another shout out. They really are a great snack for any time of day at all, but they also go over as the perfect little appetizer for any gathering. And they would also make a wonderful add-in to a gift basket. These have easily become one of our favorite snacks to have around the house and I send them in Ronnie's lunch as well. They would be great for a movie night and while they were being made, they serve as a wonderful home scent. They make the whole house smell so, so good. Now I will be sure to put all the ingredients and the directions of how they are prepared down in the description box for you. So please make sure to visit that today to see the list of recipes. All the recipes I prepare today are extremely easy, but they are just a few of our favorites for this time of year. So I wanted to share them with each of you and I really hope that you enjoy it. Now this recipe is super easy, but you do have to make sure to set a five minute timer so that the pretzels can be tossed around a few times as they bake. As the pretzels continue baking and becoming amazing, I will move on to my next recipe. This is one of Ronnie's favorite fall recipes. I love making trifles and I came up with this concoction years ago, so now it has become a staple in our home during the autumn months. Thank you. 
like I said earlier, I am going to be sharing easy recipes with you. And this is a super easy recipe, but in the end, everyone is going to think you spent hours preparing in the kitchen. Now today I used a box pumpkin muffin mix to make this, but normally I use a box bread mix. So today I did make sure to add in a couple of huge heaping tablespoons of sour cream just to make sure that the texture was nice and silky once it was baked. All right, now that the pretzels are done with their baking process, I'm going to go ahead and lay them out here on the counter on some parchment paper just so they can cool. Now in the end, you have the perfect little salty, crunchy, flavor pack snack. The flavors pop and they are so nice and toasty as well. Plus, I think you could easily use any seasoning your heart desired and I'm almost certain it'll work. Now the bread mix obviously becomes the base to this incredible dessert and then gets layered in with some of the most amazing goodness as we go along. So for starters, I am going to prepare some homemade whipping cream because nothing beats homemade. For this next step, it is totally skippable, but I am going to fill a piping bag with about half of that whipped cream mixture and set that in the fridge for later. Then I will go ahead and start on my pudding and fold the remaining whipped cream into that. Yet again, adding to that silky texture that we've already started for this amazing creation. wish I could put into words how thankful this amazing man is to all of you. He loves the kindness you have shown to me throughout this journey of mine and he really appreciates each and every one of you as do I. You are so precious to me.
now that all the ingredients are ready, we can begin to put this beauty together. What is so amazing about making a trifle is that you can kind of make them up as you go along, incorporating all your favorite flavors, and you probably can't go wrong with this idea. How could you when you're incorporating everything that you love into one bowl? Now, a trifle is an elegant dessert that has been around forever. It is a definite crowd pleaser. In each and every bite, you get something creamy, cakey, silky, and fruity. And in this one, when it gets all mixed together, it ends up creating the perfect fall dessert that everyone is going to love. I always feel like a trifle looks so pretty once it's all put together with all the beautiful layers showing through the clear glass. Topping this one off with some pretty piping and those yummy chocolate covered toffee pieces just makes anyone want to dig into each and every layer and take a bite or two or three or even 20. This bowl is sure to grow empty at any party or family gathering. The one thing about this YouTube journey of mine that I have enjoyed most is making new friends with all of you and of course other YouTubers like my dear friend Rachel. I love her and I am thankful for such a place as YouTube to have met her and each of you. I think it is so important to bind ourselves together in healthy friendships where we can love help and support one another. Being there for the good and the bad, celebrating successes that are not our own, and lending a shoulder to cry on when the day has gone wrong. For the Bible says, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. 
but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Friends, I am so thankful for each and every one of you and for Rachel as well. I hope you have enjoyed this little collaboration between us both and I do hope you will go over to her channel to see what she has made. For now, I wish you all a wonderful rest of your week. Remember to stay safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye everyone.